Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, continuing with our uh, sort of in-depth profession guides where we look at everything we use and what we use it for and if they're worth it or not, um, we're going to have tailoring today. Now, tailoring is really, really awesome um, if you get the right things that people want. It can also, you know, if you don't go out and get the reps and whatnot, it's kind of not that good, honestly. Um, there are also uh, options you can do for making uh, sort of farm bots, if you will, that can uh, just exmute things for you if you have the sort of self-sufficient factory of just farming mats and sort of stuff like that. But anyway, um, let's get into it. So with tailoring, um, there's obviously a lot of patterns and things that make it better or worse than other things. So like we have the rarest one in the game is what I have right now, and that's the bottomless bag. This ran me about 500 gold, I think, in about phase two. Um, it was pretty nice. Um, I honestly, it was starting to not pay off. Um, but it really, really has starting to pick up because of ZG and a lot of money in the economy and people really going above and beyond and wanting these 18 slot bags. Because the only other 18 slot bags you can get are Nixia hide backpacks, which I have four of, so I don't need to make bottomless bags for myself. Um, or the Panther hide sack from ZG. However, the Panther hide sack is only a one um it's only one per character it's unique so you can only get one of those but it's still pretty nice if you don't have 18 slot bags other than that it's bottomless all the way and the mats here i mean the 12 moon cloth is the most expensive part by far so if you have a bunch of tailoring bots as we mentioned before you can really get up that moon cloth and to be a tailoring bot you just have to get tailoring to 250 and you just camp that level 35 character because they have to be level 35 to get it at the moon well and you just make moon cloth every four days so that's something you can do if you're really uh wanting to do that um you can mage bot is the easiest because mages can aoe farm so it's the fastest way to level um or you can just have people power level your people to that um i would do a warlock or mage honestly because warlocks are easy to level as well they're very self-sufficient and warlocks can also double as a summoning bot if you have a guild that is competing for world bosses and stuff like that just something to uh, keep in mind with that but tailoring as a whole um I think tailoring is one of the best professions to pair with your enchanter if you're leveling it. Tailoring and enchanting just, they naturally complement each other. None of them use mats that um, really affect the other one. I mean, f the the item here that you see highlighted is a wizard weave uh, turban. I love this item for my disenchant item. It's level 56, so we can proc three greater eternals off of that. Um, here are the mats for it. It takes some dream dust star ruby rune cloth it's really really cheap and can be super profitable i have a video of me disenchanting a sample size of i think 35 or 40 of them and just completely doubling the money i put in um i got i did get lucky you know and not everyone's going to be that lucky you can get a lot of dust um that but that's sort of what you trade off when you're doing this um but why enchanting and tailoring go so nice together is for the um, fact of everything you make with your tailoring, you can just disenchant it all the way up, um, and then you can get those enchanting mats from your DEs, so you can essentially just level um, enchanting and tailoring at the same exact time and really save a lot of money just by using all those mats that you get. Now, the big items that tailoring um, definitely uses, I mentioned the bottomless bag. The moon cloth bag actually is pretty nice too. 16 slot bag just takes one moon cloth, uh, four bolts of rune cloth, and a rune thread. Not that bad at all. Um, I've made quite a bit of these, especially recently. Um, rune cloth bag, also a good bag, 14 slaughter. Um, you get that here in uh, winter spring it's from a vendor this was heavily farmed in phase one to buy it from her um but you can just make bags for people and really help them out people are always buying bags it's one of the first things i do when i make a new characters i'll send bags over um then this other one the core fell cloth bag this actually just became available um because blood vinyl wasn't in the game you've been able to get the recipe from molten core from phase one but 
you haven't been able to really do much with it um, because no blood vine and so now you actually can make it um, I'm actually missing the in-between uh, patch uh, fell bag I think yeah I forget what it is but it's a 24 slaughter I didn't know that you just click the recipe after killing Jandis and Skolo so I haven't learned that one yet but anyway that's sort of covering the bag side of tailoring um, I would recommend getting these recipes otherwise it's not really worth having on a max level character if you're not going out getting these recipes grinding the reps um, sort of working towards them then you're not going to really reap the profits that you can from tailoring making these gear pieces that a lot of casters um, desire and want um, but two of the biggest reputations you should do for tailoring um, is going into um, the uh, Zandalari tribe 100% that's how you get your blood vine you just got to get them to revered to get the full blood vine set these are so so amazing um, every caster uses them they're their best right now I've made tons of these you know and people will tip 10 to 20 gold per set right now so it's just really really nice um, I'm using it right here on my mage as you can see so blood vine so good um, then we come to the other rep that you should absolutely do and that's Thorium Brotherhood um, you only have to get them to revered luckily and getting them to revered will also yield you um, enchant weapon mighty intellect as well as an honor you can get enchant weapon mighty spirit now I don't really do too many of those enchants because healing power and spell power are so much better but they are in here but the main reason you want those is for your flare core leggings and the flare core set as a whole you get leggings at revered at honored you can get the mantle and the robe and then at friendly you're able to get the gloves as well as enchant weapon strength for 15 strength um, that's sort of why I love to pair enchanting with tailoring because almost all the reps have double whammies uh, the Zandalari tribe actually doesn't but it's still really really good rep to get that um, then a lot of the other things are really just um, patterns that will drop in MC there are a few of those um, that you can get we'll take a look at those now um, they drop um, they're here in all bosses but for tailoring you can get the core felcloth bag and the flare core wraps which i have seen a lot of uh, druids and priests sort of go after um for that and the flare core says really good fire resistance set for some bosses that may or may not require fr um i know some of the mages in my guild use it for fire maw and bwl and they just sit there and tank all the stat like they just dps the entire time because they get resisted on his uh pulsating fire debuff um and then another pattern that you can really sort of go after, this was super big um, when Dire Maul came out, but it's sort of fallen off a little bit, but from the um, cache, so not uh, Thimblejack's cache, um, flare or uh, fell cloth gloves, so, so huge. Um, the rest of these, not so much. I have not made any of these. Um, these Inferno Gloves actually might be pretty worth it come going to fire. Unsure about that. When AQ comes out, I'll have to take a look and see. Um, our tier, we get a Tier 2 Gloves, and there are a lot of other gloves, but 33 spell power is kind of insane for those. I'm not even sure if I actually have those yet. Let me look. No, I do not have those. So if those are good, I need to go get those. But... Anyway, um, the Felcloth Gloves, these are super good because Warlocks and Shadow Priests want them, and they take Demonic Runes. Demonic Runes are bop, meaning you can only make, like, only someone with this recipe and those runes can make them. I've charged upwards of 50 to 100 gold to make it for them. The 100 gold was when they first came out and every Warlock wanted them. Um, now it's sort of dropped down to 50. But Demonic Runes aren't easy to get. If you're not farming, you're not killing demons, you're not going to really get them. So these are just really good gloves. They're still really good n now. Um, most Warlocks and uh, Shadow Priests use them still. Um, there are good replacements coming up that are comparable. Um, so they might fall off and you might have trouble. But I still get PMs asking if I have them or people looking to make them. It's sort of just an easy way to get that. So 
pretty much, guys, when it comes to tailoring, those are some of the uh, things that I have um, looked at. Um, when we're talking about how to utilize your Mage Weave, I make these black Mage Weave headbands, level 41. They disenchant really well. That's what I do with my Mage Weave cloth. I already showed you what I did with my Rune cloth. Silk cloth, if you are very lucky and are able to get the uh, rich pil purple silk shirt recipe from the Scarlet Monastery, you can make these with silk cloth and make a profit, like a pretty good profit. They sell for 3G a piece, and it takes one stack of silk cloth. And then you can buy the purple dye pretty cheap as well as the silken thread. So if you want to turn your silk into money like that, you can do that. I usually have three or four of them up on the age, always making some nice money off that. But tailoring, once again, same with enchanting. It's so, so backed by getting these really good recipes, whether it requires farming reputation, uh, some lucky drops, buying them, whatever you want to do. It just requires putting in the effort. But if you do this with this profession, it really, really, really pays off. I have made tons of money making all these gear for people. Um, just, I, 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 as I said in the enchanting video, like I sit here and spam my macro to make gold. Um, I'll do the farming videos just to sort of show you guys nice, awesome ways to do it. But my primary source of income is sitting here um, just managing these professions and sort of knowing what I can get and treating everybody as fair as possible. You know, I don't try to screw anyone over with these prices. And these prices are very relative to your server. I try to, you know, have the cheapest, you know. I only, I literally only charge fees for sort of the big big pieces and that's just because everyone else does if it's any other enchant other than plus four stats or the big tailoring pieces i just say tip whatever because i don't really care you know as long as you're doing something fair i'm getting what i put into it out of like i'm uh, if it is something that takes a lot of work then i ask people to you know respect that maybe five ten gold um but other than that, just wanted to sort of give you the rundown of tailoring, what perks it has, the um, overall stuff you can do with it. And I really, really hope this guide helps you guys. If you want any more questions with tailoring, um, sort of anything you want me to talk about, any anything uh, that comes to mind, if you think I missed something, please, please, please let me know. I love reading the comments, talking to you guys. And most importantly, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. And feel free to uh, let me know anything else. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.